Oh, we got a couple of them right here. This guy, oh shoot, whoa. Look how he's swimming. He's like a sidewinder. You guys have some little iguanas in here. Into Alphanus. It's like a sidewinder. Uh, there, just like that. Oh! I don't know what it is, but it has. It's your friend Raj the Iguana Man. We're back at you guys with another video. If you guys want to see how we caught all these iguanas, like, comment, Hit that red subscribe button. Welcome back. We're back out here. Beautiful. Jurassic Florida. It looks like we just got hired at a new job. Let's go out and take a peek out the scenery real quick, y'all. Orange, orange, orange. Wow, that ocean. Buildings. What's going on guys, this is your boy Raj, the Iguana Man. Hope everybody's doing good, man. Mm. It's crazy out here, guys. Uh, summer's here, iguanas are everywhere. Look at the temperature degrees outside. 95 degrees. And apparently we have some like hurricanes and stuff coming here in a little bit. But things are just really crazy. And you know what? All my people out there that are doing uh, iguana catching and removal, hats off to you guys. Kudos to you guys. You guys are the real MVPs for the state. It is so hot out here that the average person will not last 30 minutes out here without feeling faint or tired or they had enough. I mean, heat exhaustion is a real thing here in Florida. So, I mean, you know, we do this a lot and, you know, we're definitely glad to help, but, you know, it's hot, guys. We got a call for that. Hey, yo, what's going on, DJ? Yo, what's going on? Um, not much, dude. I'm just uh, doing some errands right now. What's up, man? Hey, uh, why I have a pool and there's some baby iguanas trapped in her pool. Baby iguanas? How much do you think are in there? A lot. A lot. But if you can send me the coordinates, um, I'll go ahead and check it out and uh, see if I can help her out. But uh. Damn, baby one is trapped in a pool. Okay, well, I psh, send me the address, dude, and uh, I'll let you know what happens, right? Of course, the address now. All right, bro, time for it. Yeah. All right, guys, well, looks like we are going to be in route right now to a baby iguana pool removal job. It, it's what it sounds like. Um, you guys know DJ, the iguana kid. Well, he just gave us a call, obviously, and basically his aunt is saying that there are iguanas that are trapped inside of a pool. How big is the pool? How many iguanas are there? How deep is the pool? Is the pool clean? Guys, there's a lot of unanswered questions, but we will see you guys at the pool. All right, guys, we are over here at the job. We got a snorkel if we gotta go swimming. We got a little container to put some of these iguanas in if they're there. Let's see any. Oh, 
guys. There's, it's, there's only a couple of them in here. As you can see, there's one right there. I see one on the bottom there. Edge right here. Oh, he's gone. All right, we got one swimming out there, guys. So I'm not quite sure how many are in here, but whatever we catch, we're gonna go ahead and throw this in there. Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to go swimming, y'all. Sidewinder. Whoa. Let's see if I can get from here. Yeah, I got you, buddy. Whoa, he just tail whipped me. Alright. Let me get my goggles. Uh is that it? Mm -hmm. One right there. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Right here. Got you, buddy. I'm here to rescue you. You guys have some little iguanas in here. Hell no. Some babies, yeah. Oh shoot. I think we got them all. There was only like a handful of them. Thankfully. You guys have a lot of iguanas out here? Yes. Yeah, my friend's uh, aunt lives over here. Yeah, they took some of them now. Really? Lots of them. Okay. Come catch them anytime you want. Okay, that sounds good. We'll try. Uh, Guys, we're going to be right back. We're going to take a break. Uh, Del, if you want, circle around, see if you see any more, all right? Bet. All right, guys. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six babies. We got one right here. He's trapped. We got two right here, actually. Check them out. Whoa. Let's see if we can go right in my hand. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. What are you doing? You swimming in the pool? incredible guys it seems like these guys just hatch too and uh it seems like straight out the egg they have the ability to swim it's like they already know how to do it it's like in their instincts it's like part of their instincts go ahead and put these guys in there um looks like we have about 10 of them but a lot more and if you look right here check this out by the fence there is a fence, but they put another mesh right there, another layer of mesh to prevent big iguanas from coming in here. But obviously, you know, small iguanas can obviously go through there. And maybe these iguanas, they like to come hang out in the pool because who knows, maybe there's no predators out in here than over there. There could be some fish out there. I don't know. But uh, I think our work here is done. Let's take a few more. See if we can rescue any more of these guys. 
Yeah, and this is kind of a common thing because here also when turtle uh, babies hatch, sometimes they get stuck in the pool. And I've seen it personally myself. But boys and girls, I think we are all set for the day. I do not see any more baby iguanas. Wait. Guys, it looks like we do have one more baby right here. It's gonna come right up. Yep, come on, buddy. Oh, shoot. Oh, got him. All right. <laughs> Last baby, y'all. In the back. Oh, yeah. That's about it, guys. Okay, cool. All right, y'all. We back over here. RV house, Professor TNT. We're gonna. Cook a little chicken wing, a little light. We got the chef right here, <laughs> Chef Bob. <laughs> Mixing the thing up. There go the birthday boy right there, just vibing by it. What's up? What's up? Long time, Guana Man. What's up, my guy? What's up? What's up? What's up? We're gonna have a couple of brewskis and we're gonna make some chicken, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, we can't let everybody know too much, though, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna keep that under notes. Exactly, exactly. But slowly, yeah, yeah, yeah. they'll see our little operation, what we got going on here, all right? Salt right here. Just gonna throw a little bit of this on here. I'm not sure what it is, but it looks like some kind of seasoning. We're in a Trinity house right now, so we're just gonna assume it's gonna, it's gonna be nice. Just go, gotta get hands on it, man. Just wash my hands nice and clean. Nice warm, soapy water. This chicken, just the frost. Just gonna hit it. Give me salt. It's just this thick meat right here. It's got a lot of skin on it. I'll make sure it's, it's nice. I would say we probably put about like probably like maybe one or two teaspoons of salt and black pepper each, just to make a safe assumption. But this is about seven pounds of meat, so I think we're in good shape. Oh, the thighs, nice. Oh, that's the iguana. <laughs> it looks like uh, look, yeah, it's like chicken thighs, but yeah, I mean, yeah, it's nice awesome. though. Yeah, don't want to crowd the grill too much, no, but at the same time, though, I mean, there's only two pieces left, so we are going to crowd yeah, the grill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We shouldn't, but it'll it'll will, will. Will. yeah, don't let's swing in. It's mostly it's water. All right, now yeah, we cooking. We got a full grill, and check this out right here. Okay, you got the oil, so you just you gotta got a hold the, the wings. Stop yeah, put in the oh. chicken. Keep it up, keep the heat up. No, I'm saying on that one, on this one, flip it. So the heat, you the chicken. Okay, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's gonna come out. Oh, peanut oil, eh? Wait, Baharvey, yeah, I didn't even know they made stuff. oil out of peanuts, bro. They can make oil out of anything. It's the best oil, all right? My thing is, like, uh, where do you get baby oil? How, how many you babies get that? they or squeeze coconut oils like that? Really good. <laughs> good. I was telling my friends right here, I'm like, yo, if we ever have a food crisis, right? We would be set, boys, here in I'm Florida. Set. I'm yeah, set. we'd be way set. Listen, yes. my garden alone, bro, I can live off that. It's self-sustainable. We got we got gardens, we got we got produce, and we got the we got wild uh we got wild meat out here. Just uh, for lack of a better word, we got a lot of wild meat out here. I got, I got pig, chicken, Swiss chard, collard greens, kale. We got hot. Pe Wait, hold on, he forgot. What he we got hot peppers though, right? I'm gonna show you my bottom Guys, line. our friend Harvey right here. Believe it or not, he actually has a pepper uh a hot pepper business. He, he breeds his own pepper. He has his own pepper. He uh, makes pepper sauce. He makes seasoning. He breeds his own pepper. It's his, it's his patented pepper. Yep. My own pepper sauce. Uh -huh. And I'll show you a bottle of that in a second. And you got to try the Trinidad homegrown wine. All right, this is Trinidad wine. It's a pineapple wine from my grandma recipe. So you, that, so that we, right got some, we got some pineapple homemade Trinidad Trinidadian wine, wine. Right? Based wine. So it's actually like 40 to 50% more alcohol than you get from a 12% or a 7% bottle of wine. 
So stay tuned guys, we're gonna try Harvey's patented pepper sauce and we're gonna try his homemade pineapple wine. Straight from down to Trinidad guys, we'll be back. Happy birthday and oh, we're Harvey. wishing you 40 more. Happy birthday. Happy birthday dude. It's gonna be 21. Woo! <laughs> Happy birthday bro. Yeah. Your beautiful life. Every Come day. On. Man, <laughs> you guys. Oh, there you go. All right. Nice to meet you, brother. Okay. So just cause half, 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 and half. Sounds good to me, boys. On top of the Yeah, Easy way to do it is to tap the <laughs> I don't know what y'all are doing. I got scared. What's the other one? Cheers to that one. Oh, we just say Harvey can't go wrong with Jack, right? Oh, really? What? 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 Please. Come on! Oh, don't bob your head at me, mister! Don't you dare bob your head at me! Pain as a stud! Guys, we're over here in the Everglades and check out what we found. Go ahead and zoom this in for you guys. Not quite sure what kind of scales those are. You know, drop some comments. They look like they could be grass carp or maybe tarpon scales. They're massive. Let me show you, pick one up and show you how big they are. Drop a comment and let me know. We're gonna take one for evidence. Something's cute right there. Oh, my go, play, go, play, right there. Got it? Got a Plico. Plico right there. Boom. Oh. Get him again. Get him again. He's right there. Same spot. He, I found him. Dad, look. Get my fish. Put it, throw him in. Catch your fish again. Where is he? Over there somewhere. Push, push, push. No, my look at the size of this Plico we just gigged. Mine, Oh, yeah. What we got in here? Studs. <laughs> oh yeah. Turn it out the Everglades. This has this like a, he's like stubby. It's oh, not yeah. as long, it's just fat. Florida invasive species hunter right here. Mm -hmm. And what, what are we doing? We're hunting invasive. 